Urge is a St. Louis original, but the band's lead is turning over the microphone. He will let other artists help him feed the people. Let's talk to Steve Ewing. He also owns Steve's Hot Dogs, and he's in the Fox 2 kitchen. How you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? And I see you got your gloves on. You ready to I'm, rock? I'm ready to rock. What are we making? So first thing we're going to make is the official hot dog of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. We got with the Board of Aldermen <laughs> in St. Louis. That's where they had a whole document and proclamation. Right? We've got a whole proclamation that says this is now the official hot dog of St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So we have the bun. We'll put provolone cheese in of the bun. Of course. Put the dog in there, the mm -hmm. smoked hot dog. we put a little bit of this grilled. Ooh, the onion grilled onions, the caramelized yep, onions. Yep. And then... We put a little grilled bell pepper on top of it. And what's the name of this dog again? This is called the St. Louis Hot Dog. The St. Louis the Hot Dog. St. Like Louis the St. Louis Hot Dog. St. Louis Hot Dog. We need that in our lives. <laughs> so we got St. Louis Originals coming up on Sunday. Who's in the lineup? So the lineup has all St. Louis Original bands. So we got Boomtown United. We got Orange Tree. We got, oh my gosh, we have another band called Bring Me the Fires. We have School of Rock. We have Jamie. Uh, we have Mary Claire Dunphy playing. Yeah. Uh, Midwest Avengers is playing. Okay. So the whole idea here is to uh, showcase the St. Louis original scene. Yeah. And um, and to also raise money for our, our Feed the People program, which has fed over six thousand people yeah. uh, this year. So we got we got this whole thing is is about raising that money. Um, also want to mention our sister restaurant, The Fountain on Locust. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll be there with ice cream and hot chocolate. So we have an artist, Mike Lorenz, doing live art. Okay. We've got quite a few things happening. Um, and as you can see, yes. I got this fresh t-shirt on. It's fresh. It's crispy right here. fresh. So if you buy one of these, 15% um, of the sales go to our Feed the People program. And the first 30 that show up get one of these for free. So can we back up a little bit? You yeah. said the number, you said 6,000 people this year. 6,000 meals, yeah. But you've been working on this since the pandemic started, right? Correct, yeah. And can you tell me a little bit about when you saw yourself, because we have video of you just standing over a grill mm -hmm. on, on a residential deck, and you're just doing what you can, what you can since, um, since safety restrictions cause a lot of dining rooms to close. Right. When you think about how many people you helped, including sister restaurants. Correct, yeah. What do you think? It was a lot, and you know, think back on it, and it's like, okay, wow, that was crazy. But when you're at the moment, it was there was a need. You know what I mean? Like we knew everybody in the neighborhood, um, their lives have been shifted and changed, and so there was just going to be a need. And it, we immediately saw it, especially with kids being out of school, yeah, and um, with the hospitals being kind of overwhelmed. So we kind of jumped in there, and people helped us out big yeah. time. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, in this business, the news business, we often say, you know, we're not saving lives here, but let me tell you something. This guy is, and you can help. STL Originals <laughs> will be Sunday, October 2nd. It benefits Feed the People program. It will be from 4 until 10 at Ritz Park. That's right next door to Steve's Hot Dogs at 3145 South Grand in South St. Louis. We will have links at fox2now.com. Steve Ewing, thank you so much for all Thanks, you do. Thanks, Cam. Thanks for having me. <laughs>